Grandpa Nick was destined to continue the family tradition of being a clergyman of the Lebanese Orthodox Church. However, by following his dreams and defying his parents, saw the course of his life change significantly. Nicholas Shahedi was born on the 15th of November 1926 in Kuji to Lebanese migrants and the first of his family to be born in Australia. Growing up in the streets of Redfern during the Great Depression with his two older sisters and younger brother and sister, he learnt a lot of integral lessons that shaped him as a man. Due to his father, Michael Shahedi, being a clergyman and a scholar, Grandpa was destined to do the same. However, this all changed at the age of 15 when he went along with his friends to Kuji Oval and joined the Ramek Rugby Club. Here he discovered his love for rugby. Though due to sport having no importance in the Shahedi household, he kept this love from his parents, hiding his boots in his friend's front yard, sneaking off to train and play games. Though as he started to make a name for himself, it was destined that his parents would eventually find out. Grandpa recorded it. He injured himself in a game and was helped off. Looking into the stands, he saw his father looking down at him. Now that his parents knew, he was allowed to continue playing. However, his parents were still keen for him to move his ambitions away from rugby and to learn a trade. This saw Grandpa being sent to Bathurst to help his uncles with the dry cleaning business. However, although being over 200 kilometres away from Coogee Oval, he insisted he would still play for Ramwick. He would leave Bathurst at midnight on Friday and play the game on Saturday, returning back to the Bathurst Chill at 3am Monday morning ready for work. Training on his own each night during winter, running from Bathurst to Kelso, he learned self-discipline and determination. Due to this hard work and determination, he achieved his goal of making the 1947-1948 Wallabies Tour of the United Kingdom at the age of 20. During this tour, he said he learned everything he knew about respect, determination and to never judge a book by its cover. And these elements were reflected throughout the rest of his life. Now a famous footballer who would tour the world. In 1953, he met the love of his life, Mari, a Sydney University medical student. In 1957, they were married, where they had my dad, Michael, and my aunties, Susan and Alex. However, it was those lessons of perseverance and self-discipline in the streets of Redfern, to those cold nights in Bathurst, and the guidance from the older players on the 1947 to the 1948 tour that shaped him and the life he lived. Whether it was during the 1957-1958 Wallabies tour of the United Kingdom or throughout his time as Lord Mayor of Sydney or being a parent or a grandparent. These successes were shaped by a 15 year old boy who wanted to carve his own life achievements rather than the ones his parents had laid out for him. Grandpa passed away on the 11th of February 2018. Let me recite to you what he wrote in his diary on the 11th of February 1948. We left to meet the King and Queen at Buckingham Palace. We all formed a horseshoe-like circle. Bill McLean led the King around to each of us, followed by the Queen, Arnold Tancred, Princess Margaret with Trevor Allen. Each spoke a few words and shook our hands. We left London at 3pm for Southampton. Retired, 9.30 p.m. The son of a Lebanese migrant who grew up on the streets of Redfern during the Great Depression, who defied his parents' wishes and aspirations for him to become a clergyman like his father. This would have been a special moment. Rugby made me.